Jackson is so much better than he was before. I didn't realize actually that before he was kind of a dud. Like you could use him in things and he could be effective, but he was kind of a last pick thing. Sometimes he would work against you. Let me read what he was before. Increase your attack bar by 5% each whenever the attack bar of enemies and allies decrease. In addition, increases the effect of attack bar, increasing skills of all allies and enemies by 50%. That means if your opponent is using oracles or things that increase attack bar, they're just going to be even. So you're buffing potentially your opponent's units as well. Uh, the new skill increases attack bar of all allies by 10% each if the enemy target decreases an ally's attack bar during the enemy's turn. So Triton, Chiwu, more Savannah, so much stuff. So much stuff. So, uh, so much stuff activates his attack bar increase of all allies. We know that Ragdoll, Ragdoll, Hey Gang, uh, Vertiheal, all those units increase the attack bar of your team. Very, very strong units uh, for turn two players. So, Jackson is a great unit for turn two players. In addition, increases the effective attack bar increasing skill of all allies by 50%. So, this does not work on enemies anymore. Like it was working on enemies, now it's not. So, so much in, in both parts of the skill, so much better than he was before. He's a solid, solid unit now. Pretty high on the tier list. Here's a little recap for the rest of the skills for you guys. Uh, if you don't know, the first skill is just a little bit of attack age absorbs. Second skill is the same as the miles. The water one is just a strip and a stun, which is nice. If he's going to cut in, then he can do something. He can strip and stun after he cuts in. Reusable in two turns and then the passive, which we already talked about. The accuracy leader skill, 55%, which is probably not going to get used in most cases if you're going to go with speed. Player on the left-hand side is already picking attack age reduction units. So those art masters, even with with skill three, the wind art master is going to do attack age reduction. And also just their skill ones do attack age reduction, which anytime they use their skill ones, it's going to keep increasing the attack age of all the units on the Leo team. And then he picked the, Le the Leo and Jameer kind of counter each other, but Leo also counters Tableau. And then he picked the Jameer out because he did not want the Jameer Tableau combination together. So that's why he, uh, that's why he picked those two units. It's kind of a weird... Kind of a weird pick. He just picked two counters to it, though. But kind of a weird thing to see side by side in the same team is you see attack age increase right there, right? Uh, so weird thing to see, though, together is the Leo Jameer, considering Jameer's first skill is based on speed. So he kind of counters uh, his own comp. But he, and a more attack age increase, more attack age increase. So those two dots are going to be able to kill the Tableau. And then he's going to keep going for the... I mean, he's he's gonna keep going for the Shung Pung, but anytime Shung Pung does anything, he's gonna keep uh, turn uh, skill one or skill three. He's got a turn cycle, so he's gonna get extra turns. I think Leo basically has this at this point. Even even if the other units weren't there, I think Leo would have this. So, GG. Next match is the same guy from the first match, Ganny Hathor. So we get to see a very exciting Ganny Hathor. Bans Douglas, bans the Barbara. So Barbara was going to give them turn one. That's why they banned the Barbara, because they didn't want to go for a Barbara, Shung Pung skill two into an Oki skill three, and then have their Ganny Hathor lockdown get uh, get CC, right? So that's why they banned the uh, that's why they banned the Barbara. And then I feel like I don't know if I would love the Jackson here versus other things because jackson is great i mean jackson is great with things that turn cycle on your team and things that uh decrease uh attack age like enemies that are trying to decrease your attack age so you have the shung pung uh with skill one and skill three decreasing the attack age and then you have the barber decreasing the attack age but barber was already banned so the shung pung is just basically you're going to be take the entire match being slept so i don't think that the jackson gets as much value here versus another unit that could have been in that spot maybe that's just my play style maybe i just uh and then he gets cc'd so didn't he wait didn't he wake up that oki <laughs> at some point i think he woke up the oki at some point and then get cc'd uh get cc'd from that the redder the stars are the more expensive the account looks so hey gang gets banned tian lang gets banned let's see how much synergy they actually have here so they're gonna have jackson's gonna have synergy both with the uh gianna and also with the carnal he's going to also he's going to have synergy against this oliver here so increase the attack bar over there and then we're also going to see yeah basically just going to have synergy against the oliver and with the two units on his there's not as much synergy as there could be here with the jackson not that he's bad just there's not as much synergy as there could be he does have a lot of access to that uh skill two though skill two is in and he's on violent runes so skill two is on a two turn cooldown so he's going to be able to use that quite a lot is the strip and 
you see the uh, the attack age reduction, which triggered uh, Jackson's passive. So he's gonna have a lot of access to that skill to the strip and uh, the strip and stun for things. And he's gonna go for the. He's gonna try to continue to uh, take the Oliver out because the Oliver is the unit that's gonna do the most damage here. How many turns before Gianna gets it? Well, Gianna's gonna turn cycle more than uh, more than she otherwise would. But I mean, with the Oliver there though, Oliver is just gonna prevent Gianna from ever getting access to her skill three. So would that have no? That 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 wouldn't have killed before the Wusa before the Wusa nerf. I was thinking maybe that would have killed, but no, it still, it still wouldn't have been enough uh, enough damage to kill before the Wusa nerf. So this point, we're just seeing an Oliver spotlight because Gianna can't do anything if she keeps getting cooled down. Cool down, decrease attack bar, cool down, decrease attack bar. So I know we didn't see a win, but we got to see some Oliver gameplay, and we also got to see some of what Jackson can do, even if he, even even if the game, uh, the match wasn't a win. Right away, we got two units that are going to decrease it, three units that are going to decrease attack bar. So Jackson's fantastic into here. Light Monkey also decreases attack bar. They ban out the Vertiheel, but Jackson's going to be super nasty in this team. Vertiheel has to actually revenge. Jackson's just going to get all that attack age increase right there. Uh, this is also going to overfill her attack age. There's no way that they can cut because it's going to overfill her attack age like that. I mean, Light Monkey's still going to do his thing, but look at all that attack age increase they get after that. Uh, uh, I was going to say, Gianna, Gianna's going to get, uh, she's going to cleanse that off uh, and then also increase her attack age quite a decent amount uh, aside from that. But every time this hey gang does his uh does his skill one it's also going to increase the attack i mean there was so much that jackson was countering in that team and then he also has a lot of synergy with the diana and with the juno this was a great match to see jackson it was also fast match to see jackson because i think the opponent knew that jackson was very strong in this match after the draft already there's a lot of value for jackson to be in play here because we have the two art masters and then two beast riders so jackson comes out then they pick two beast riders after that, Leo gets banned out, but the Jackson's still going to be strong here because Shung Pung and both Beast Riders do attack age reduction, which Jackson is going to keep increasing the attack age whenever they get attack age uh, reduced. So there's going to be a lot. I mean, those Beast Riders are strong against Tian Lang, but there we, they, they get the bomb. Okay. Are they going to be able to... They just concede. They just concede there. They're like, yeah, the Jackson. I think maybe people don't realize how strong Jackson is after the buff. I know this is only C1, but we do get to see a lot of value in here with Jackson. And also, we get to see Jackson versus Daniel. How often do we get to see that when Daniel's the Light Sky Surfer? So, three units. They banned out the Triton, but still three units on that side of the board. I have attack age decrease, so Jackson's going to get a lot of value out of that attack age decrease. I mean, if they got turns to actually do their attack age decrease. Savannah's still going to move. She's actually going to move before uh, Jackson because she has more attack age. So we're going to see uh, the increase of attack bar right there from the decrease of attack bar. Also, if you guys don't know what Daniel does, Daniel does... Um, we, we saw a little bit of attack age uh, increase over there when Daniel did his uh, skill too. But he's got attack age, uh, he's got attack age decrease. For his skill two, well, actually his skill one, two, and three. So Jackson's a very strong unit into uh, Daniel as well as the light one, as well as the fire, as well as Daniel's. A, I actually uh, Jackson's Jackson's really good against a lot of the Sky Surfers, a lot of the Sky Surfers, the uh, Art Masters, the Beast Riders, a lot of the Beast Riders. One of these teams is more expensive than the other. I'll give you just a second to figure out which one you think it is. That's correct. It's the one with all LD5s. I mean, it's Mr. Touch, so <laughs> of course, it's nothing new. So bans out the Gianna, bans out the Fire Slayer, actually, on the other side. So he banned out the strip. The Cadiz does still have a strip, though. So let's see. Actually, let's see if the Ragdoll cuts in or not. Because the uh, because the Jackson's going to increase the attack age of the Diana with the passive, anything that increases attack age. And then the Ragdoll is going to increase uh, the attack age of his team whenever there is uh, things that get crit on. So I was just curious to see if she was actually going to take another turn uh, after that or if the Ragdoll was going to cut in next. So we've got some revenges. Two brands. Okay, is Diana going to go down or... <laughs> or is they I wonder if he's just having fun. I wonder if Mr. Touch is just like, eh, I just want to pick a whole bunch of LDs. Why not? YOLO. I mean, you could with if if these are your LDs that you're picking, you could just pick a whole bunch of LDs. You do have some uh some kind of nasty combinations. You have the ragdoll for turn two, right? So no matter what moves first, you're gonna increase attack bar and you're gonna kind of cut in. And then you also have the 
uh, Han Gianna combination if you wind up taking turn. Oh my god, that's so toxic. That's so absolutely toxic. I, I say as I literally use half the team he's using myself. It's like, oh really, Bagel? You're trying to tell me you don't use Han and Kitian Dasheng yourself? Like, okay, I'm not saying that I don't use that. I'm just saying it's a toxic combination. I like to also use toxic things. But we see actually here that this um, this is doing very well against that full LD5 team. Do they actually get to sleep? Do they get another turn? No. Do they get another turn there? No. Well, I mean, even if they got another turn there... It <laughs> and the pattern. What a great way to end. I think we'll end the video here, guys. Anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Very, very strong unit. This Dark Jackson now significantly stronger than he was before. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> we'll see you as always in the next one.